Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Elixir and Phoenix applications. Our viewer is trying to connect their Phoenix web app to a PostgreSQL database hosted on Azure, but they're running into some issues with SSL connections. So what's the issue? When our viewer attempts to start their Phoenix application, they encounter a frustrating error related to PostgreSQL. This error arises because the Azure PostgreSQL service has SSL connections enforced by default. While this is great for security, it complicates the connection process for the Phoenix app. Currently, our viewer has temporarily disabled SSL to get things running, but they are looking for a more permanent solution. They want to know how to properly connect to PostgreSQL over SSL from their Phoenix application and whether they need to configure SSL certificates on their app server. If you're facing similar challenges or have insights on connecting Phoenix to PostgreSQL securely, Stick around. We'll explore the necessary steps and best practices to ensure a smooth and secure connection. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To connect your Phoenix web application to a PostgreSQL database over SSL, we first need to ensure that SSL is enabled in your database settings. In this case, since you're using Azure Database for PostgreSQL, SSL is enforced by default. Next, we need to configure your Phoenix application to connect using SSL. This involves updating your database configuration in the config file. Open your config file and locate the database settings. You may also need to install OpenSSL on your application server to handle SSL connections properly. This is crucial for establishing a secure connection to your PostgreSQL database. Finally, after making these changes, restart your Phoenix server and try connecting again. If everything is set up correctly, your application should connect to the PostgreSQL database securely over SSL. For more detailed guidance, you can refer to the official documentation from Microsoft on SSL connections for Azure PostgreSQL. This will provide additional insights and troubleshooting tips. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. If you're having trouble connecting your Phoenix app to an Azure PostgreSQL database via SSL, you're not alone. Even with SSL enabled in your configuration, you might still face connection errors. The error often stems from the SSL version being used. While connecting with PSQL might work, Postgrex may default to an older SSL protocol, causing the connection to fail. To resolve this, you can specify the TLS version in your repo configuration. Adding the SSL ops with the correct TLS version can help establish a successful connection. Here's how your configuration should look. Make sure to include SSL ops with versions set to TLS v1.2.
This adjustment should allow you to connect without issues. If you're unsure why the TLS version needs to be set explicitly, consider reaching out for more insights. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect your Phoenix web app to PostgreSQL via SSL, make sure to add your IP address or IP range to the PostgreSQL firewall settings in Azure, located under the SSL settings. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to PostgreSQL from a Phoenix web app via SSL, ensure that Erlang is built with OpenSSL. If you encounter issues with SSL, it might be due to OpenSSL not being included in your Erlang build. Check the output of the command SSL versions in an IEX shell to diagnose SSL support in your setup. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. connect your Phoenix web app to PostgreSQL using SSL, you need to set up your database connection with SSL options. Make sure to check your SSL settings. Here's a sample code snippet for the init function. It includes the host name, username, database name, port, and SSL options. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to PostgreSQL from a Phoenix web app using SSL, you can set up your SSL ops block with specific configurations. This includes using self-signed certificates and setting auth options to client cert equals verify full. Here's an example of the SSL opts configuration. It specifies the verification method, TLS version, cipher suites, and paths to your certificate files. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.